<laughs> for tax purposes only. Hit it. We're we're wasting good stuff. <laughs> is it Daniel Guerrero, Danny Guerrero, or is, or it'll be soon be Dan Guerrero? Yeah, like three years is gonna be Dan. Bro. Oh, you almost there, Big Don. Uh, the new balances in the khaki shorts. Yep. Yeah. The dad yeah. shoes, Big Don. The knee high shorts. Bro. Hell yeah! You need to get them hokas like me, Big Don. The little hoka <laughs> shoes or some Brooks. They're comfy yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the What Did He Say podcast. It's your boy Chingo Bling. We got Javi Luna in the building. Yes, sir. What's up, man? The fans are loving some Javi, man. They got to get some more Javi. Uh, the Fajita special, Jesus, baby. aka Fajita Jesus. AKA Fajita Jesus. The AKA. special is out. It's out. Not the for secret everybody. Is out. Texas best kept secret no longer, man. Yeah, the the one that you know George Lopez never helped. You know what I'm saying? Yee. No, don't need no one mentioning my name on no podcast. We don't need no no clout. <laughs> he ain't in it for the clout. We got a DJ producer, Big Rob, in the background. Everybody, producer Rob. He does not have a camera. I asked him. I was like, bro, you need me to bring that third camera. He's like, nah, nah, you we know could. Now we could. I, I, I got a flip. They tune in. The <laughs> they tune in for the car. voice. They tune in for the voice. It's the voice and the beard. Yeah, it's not bro. the not the beard. The beard got a, is behind a paywall. Yeah. Oh, that's a podcast for you, Rob. The voice and the beard. The voice and the beard. Ah, yeah, it's not yeah. bad. All right, it's, I like it. Like I'm, the fighter and the kid. Put it in my back pocket. Yeah. Except I'm both people. I'm You're both. Crazy. I'm crazy. You know the beard with the voice. Yeah. There it is. I like it. Uh, let me give y'all some tour dates real quick before we uh, start talking shit and talking about all kind of random stuff, man. Uh, yeah. L- looking forward to talking about your experience on Kill Tony. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, cool. we're about to talk about that. Uh, uh, and then Javi has the, a kill to- the, Tony the, story. The American too. idol of comedy. Here we are. <laughs> Javi got a kill. I'm the only motherfucker in here ain't did kill Tony. Ain't got the nuts to do it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just did Odessa. Shout out to everybody who came out to Odessa. Uh, Fresno, March 23rd. Merced, California, March 24th. Visalia, March 25th. I think we're doing the Ice House. I don't know. I got to double check. March 31st. El Paso, April 6th through the 8th. A whole lot of more. A uh, whole lot of more. A whole lot of more. A whole lot of more tour dates on my website, chingobling.com. Uh, so that way you don't miss out on El Paso, Sacramento, San Jose, Brownsville, Alamo, mm-hmm. Albuquerque, and so much more. Hit it up, chingobling.com. And we got some new merch designs coming on chingodemerch.com. We hitting y'all with content from all angles. Now... Let's talk about some jujitsu. Uh, oh, this is your jujitsu comedy this friend. I, this is where I met. Oh, this nice to meet met, you. Uh, nice. You know, he's Daniel in the jujitsu gym. Okay. Yeah, he's Daniel but in the streets. In the streets, he you know he, he big Daniel. Dan. He's comedy yeah. D. Yeah, he, yeah, I'm changing it up in the streets, bro. Okay. Yeah, on the mats is different. <laughs> There's something else. Yeah. <laughs> so you a purple belt now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got like purple belt. Maybe. Probably like three or four months ago. Congrats, Still pretty new. Bro. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, yeah, it's a fresh purple belt. Yeah, yeah. So, so what, 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 what is purple? Where is he? That damn near the brown, which is okay. right before black. Okay, 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 okay. He way past white, like me and Rod. Me yeah, we're like, still white belts. <laughs> me and Rod, white belts. I'm eight year white belt over here. Boy, been white belt since he started. Yeah, you got a couple stripes on your white. No, belt. Zach, come he on, more man, no. Do, yeah. put some respect on my. my he said, "Hey, man, I, hey, player, I noticed you got two pieces of tape, dang. Yeah, One of them he put on himself. <laughs> Allegedly, pick, pick, Allegedly. Pick that up from Ace Hardware on the way over. I'll be practicing, and <laughs> I'll be putting a little third stripe just see how it feels. Okay. You know, prepare myself mentally. mentally. I like that. What kind of tape is it? Is like it's electrical, electrical tape. tape. It looks like electrical tape. <laughs> it That's is electrical tape. It looks like electrical tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's durable. You know, like I, uh, tape. I did Taekwondo for two weeks back in 1993 at yeah. the Y. You know, oh, two weeks. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whole two weeks, man. Did you get a belt from Taekwondo? I got, got me a little stripe. I think it's a little stripe. <laughs> the way he said that, it was like, did you get a belt for those two weeks? <laughs> uh, now, I have to say this. Rob was doubting me, bro. He didn't believe I really earned my two stripes because I told him the story how um, Sensei, Professor Tony, was like, hey, bro, uh, come over here. Pete, come up here. And um, mm-hmm. he had the clipboard with the tapes on there ready. For everybody, you know what I'm talking about? Promotion, big die. You know what I'm talking about? And he, boom, he hit me one one piece. And then we all got back to class. And then at the end of class, he was like, one more again. Uh, Pete, come here real quick again. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And so he gave me both stripes because I was, uh, and that's what threw Rob off. He was, I, I had skeptical hippo eyes. He was, he was just like, story. so like, why they give you two on the same day? He's like, how does that? Tell him your question. Well, bro. he was like, I've never seen anybody. You might need to tighten the, yeah, that side. Tight, I mean, tight. Uh, tight, I mean, I've never seen anybody get two stripes in one day. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen it. I've seen people get like three or four stripes. Like, really? When yeah, you miss yeah. promotion day? Yeah, I guess like missing promotion, or you just like they see you just been working something. pretty hard, you know, and yeah. probably just overlooked you for that whatever is it, promotion. Is it kind of like, uh, from what I understand, I don't know, uh, I don't know if we have any chess players here. I like chess. But, but if you remember, like, like, you ever see that movie Searching for Bobby Fischer or whatever? No, when, 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 when he's, like, getting trained by, like, the chess master and he goes, when you train under a chess master, like, they, they're the ones that give you points. 
like where you get your like ranking like degree or whatever oh. and like if when you make a certain move like it could just be random like you're playing a game with your with your mentor and he's like give me your book or whatever and like he he would take points away like sometimes if the kid would make like a crazy i mean jujitsu really decision, is like so. human chess right I'm talking about. yeah it is yeah. like that's crazy though, that he, did, he did was that did that that had that felt good though he called you up yeah and, well let, let me tell you why it feels so amazing not only do i love jujitsu and and I, I love the urban jungle family and and everything but uh-huh. but also i was always a runt I never played no type of professional team sport, like no type of they ain't put me in little league, none of that shit. Like I didn't, I was at, I was in high school dreaming of hitting that winning layup or some shit, and I went on the team. I'm sitting there dreaming about like all the cheerleaders, like ah, Pete stole the ball, he's running it down the court and thighs, and we won, and it's a buzzer beater. And uh, so to actually be in something and actually like, not even I'm not even in it for the belts, big dime. I'm not even in it for the stripes, mm-hmm. but to I didn't know how good it was going to feel. No, I really am not. I really am not. He's giving me the eyes again. He's about the grind. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's about the journey. No, seriously. And the reason I say that is, and I, that's, he throw me off. That's a whole nother answer. But but um, I didn't realize how good it was going to feel because I had never done nothing. You know, I didn't even have the participation yeah. trophy. Yeah. I didn't even have some bullshit Little League, Taekwondo, karate, nothing. So I was like, oh, shit, I'm a grown-ass man sitting here thinking, like, I'm about to do, like, I just want a Grammy. Like, uh, I want to thank everybody for this one strike right here. So, yeah, yeah it was. Uh, well, it's an accomplishment. I came home, yeah, sure. I came home just proud and shit. My, my wife was bathing the baby. <laughs> this is so funny from a white belt, 43-year-old white belt. She's bathing <laughs> the baby, and I, I come up, I'm in my gi. I'm a little sweaty. I'm like, <clears throat> you know, I grabbed a tip of the belt. <clears throat> Notice anything different about me, honey? And she's just like, uh, oh, my God, you got a little stripe. That's so cute. I'm catching up to my four-year-old. <laughs> yeah. She got two stripes. Little stripe. He had a flashback to 12, and he was like, I wish I did this when I was 12. Yeah, I just started, like, having, you know, angry issues towards my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I first started, bro, I would walk around my house in, like, a brand-new gi I would just order. Hell, yeah. And I would just, like, try to, like, tie my belt in different ways. Like, which one looks cooler? Like, which one makes me look tough? I only know one way. Yeah, there's a couple ways. I only know one way, too. There's though. some really, like, origami yeah. looking. Yeah, do you do the double where you wrap it around twice and then do the whole that knot where it doesn't come undone? Uh, no, nah, I don't know how to do that okay. one. Nah, how think, long have you been uh, doing it? Uh, probably four and a half years now. Damn, you got your purple belt in four years. Wow, you've been hustling. Yeah, yeah. One day, like, uh, at a time, bro, jiu-jitsu was, like, all I was doing. Because the same thing, like, I never did anything. No, really, I wasn't good at sports. If I did play, I was on the bench. So I just kept going to jiu-jitsu, like, over and over. I've always been, like, super small, so... Um, yeah, bro. I would just train like twice a day. Just no oh, wonder. You know, just twice okay. a day. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. At one point, I was training like twice a day for a Did while. Did you start at Urban Jungle? Uh, I tried out like a few different gyms, like like trials and stuff. But yeah, I ended up staying at Urban Jungle. You have any other ones that you like that you might want to shout out, or are they all just like rather not? Uh, hey, homie. Hey, homie. I mean, I was there for like a day. <laughs> no respeto, big dog. Hey. <laughs> hey, we got we got we got our Urban Jungle tats, yeah. big dog. Damn. Damn. Can't, yeah, can't be set tripping over here. Yeah, so yeah, we ain't hood hopping around here, big dog. He's trying to set you up for failure and he screams. Uh, hey, man, I'm just curious. Other people might want to try, you know. Let, let me ask you this, man, because um, I know for me, I feel like it does. But does you? Ju- how does jujitsu play a role in your comedy? Like how you approach the game, bro. It just if I feel like it makes me just resilient as fuck. Like, uh, cause in jujitsu, bro, you get beat up numerous times, even by the guy you don't expect to get beat up by sometimes. And like with comedy, I feel like there's just days where, man, it just doesn't go the way you want it. But I'm gonna still show up the next day and you know just try my best and just like suck a little bit less or something. The more you do it, I feel like the the uh you suck a little bit less or whatever it is that you're trying to get and good I, at. How long you been doing stand up? Uh, about to be like two years. I'm still like kind of new in it. So, oh, shit. but dude, you're making strides because, like, I remember like I met him at the jujitsu gym. But then one time I, I dropped into uh, the secret group, like just kind of go peep the the scene. And um, I think somebody was like, oh, like I was introducing myself to the people, and to the comics that were hanging out outside. They're like, oh wait, wait, Chingo Bling. Oh, he know, dude, he knows Danny Guerrero. He's like, oh my god, he knows Danny Guerrero. Like that was the fucking resume. Thing that they were like, oh fuck, wait, oh, you know DG, Danny. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, dude, you know it's Danny, bro. They're like, oh, okay, it's cool. I was like, in after that, <laughs> you were in, and that's why I was like, oh shit, okay, I could just tell by the way they said your name. Javi could probably knows what I'm talking about. Like, mm-hmm. you could tell there was some cosign on it. Like there was, res- they put respect on his name. Mm. Yeah. Like they were definitely like, oh okay, okay, he cool with Danny, bro. I felt like I was like, like in prison. 
and I had just got saved from a fade. He met one of the bosses. Yeah, yeah, like it was a shot Check, call. Checked out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, he he down with D Block. He said, he said the right name. And cell Block D. Yeah, Cell Block D. Yeah, DG. Shot yeah. call. Yeah, my homies hit me up that night too. I think I saw like a picture of you on stage in the box at Secret Group. And my homies were just like, yeah, bro, we bumped into Chingo. And then you told me that story. And they're like, he's bombing right now. (laughs) I I always bomb. It was an off night. I always bomb in those situations, dog. Like, I I I I consider them bombs because sometimes I just like, I think I either like take the crowd's expectations too much into account or I just misread or I approach it a certain way where I either come in with a chip on my shoulder like I know y'all expecting this or y'all murder y'all might have heard me from this Mm -hmm. or don't let the credits get you fucked up I'm in here working out Mm -hmm. type of thing or maybe I just get in my head but to me it be feeling like bombing you think those concepts are lost on fans like working out like they don't understand that you have to work out your sets I think comics don't even understand it <laughs> half the time. Like, cause there, you gotta understand with rooms like, like like that, and I'm not dogging any any kind of rooms like that. They serve a purpose, but there's some comics that don't leave those rooms, right? Like like the secret group, or like the, like the Blind Tiger in San Antonio, where it's like it's it's a very it, it's a more subtle type of comedy. It, it, it's it's a lower key crowd, small small. Like it's really a place for a comic to go work out. Right, but also because because of the audiences there, their comedy audiences, they gi- they give you a little bit more, too. Right, versus where you're at a club or you're on a big show on a big stage, they want it faster. Right? And I think some comics don't understand. Like you gotta exist and you gotta learn how to work both those stages. You can't just stay, stay. You know, it's not fair to just only do club comedy. It's not fair to only do alternative style rooms either. Like you gotta have all the tools and so I, if comics miss that, I know the layperson misses that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So Javi did uh, the Tony Hinch clip, Kill Tony, in Hollywood, right? Yeah, at the comedy store. So, so I want to talk about that, but how, how did you, how did Danny, how did you, like, this trip to Austin, like, how did that come about? Yeah. Did I, you just I, put your name in the thing? Yeah, bro, I tried, this was probably my seventh time signing up, first time getting on, um, and they said this night was, like, uh, the most people signed up was, like, 160 people, so I wasn't expecting to get called. 160 people? Yeah, bro, they, they usually have, like, kind of, like, a little bullpen in the back for all yeah. the comics to wait, but they had a line outside of comics that were, you know, just couldn't even hang out in the bullpen. So Damn. I was just in the back, bro, just hanging out. I was like, I'm not going to get called. Like, there's no way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I heard my name, and, yeah, that was it. And then just kind of, there's, like, a, I've been doing this mic at uh, Axel Rad, and they do, like, one-minute sets there, so I just pretty, it just felt like oh. muscle. You were used to it. It was just like muscle memory. I mean, like when I rewatch it, I'm just like, oh, I could tell like I was kind of like rushing through some stuff, but, um, but yeah, it just felt like muscle memory, bro. One minute, that's what you had to do it that's to kill Tony. One yeah, minute. it's yeah, always a minute, minute, right? Yeah, but it's always yeah. A minute. y'all have to go. Everybody, listen, y'all got to go check it out. Um, just type in, I guess, Danny Guerrero kill Tony or which episode or it's the Tom Papa episode. Okay, yeah, I'm like the second or third because you crammed in so many jabs and punchlines to where it did not feel like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so Tom Papa was on the panel that day, that night? Yeah, yeah. That's he was cool. the guest, yeah. Was he making bread? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Mm. It smelled like sour yeast <laughs> in that bitch. <laughs> so, so I'm definitely going to watch watch the clip, or can, can we... Can oh, we you want to pull it up? Yeah, I'll pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. Yeah, Let me pull it up. Yeah, go ahead. We won't get dinged by the Kill Tony people? So, uh, yeah, whatever. No? Oh, okay. No, no, we'll pull it up. Go ahead. Okay. Or not Hold on, dog. We're trying to monetize. Trying, what you mean? Ah, whatever. How did they... How how did they treat you afterwards? Because I know part of their thing is, is yeah, they get roasted. Yeah. yeah, I got roasted a little bit, but um, on what? Just your parents? Uh, they were just like, oh, you're Mexican. You probably still live at home with your parents, which yeah. is true. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, once they, they you didn't can- give them anything on, on your on your material because your material was 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 good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they invited me back to, for like the secret show. I got like a big joke okay. book, oh, and yeah, a, doing a all gel that blaster, now. and all that. So. Yeah. I like that. Oh, know, what? Jail blaster? What? Yeah, it's like a... They punch an arm, like you got haze. <laughs> <laughs> no, they get you like, it's like a yeah. like a gun, like a like a paintball gun, but it just shoots like these little water pellets. Oh, yeah. the gel, gel. Yeah, it's a gel blaster. That's part of the thing, like you did well, so we're going to pop Yeah, yeah, they give you... No, 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 they give you one. They give you like Oh, they give you one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, he killed it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he killed it. No, no, no. I would have just... He wouldn't be here. I'd have just seen him at jujitsu. Hey, what's up, dog? Yeah. Like, hey, don't make no hey, eye good, contact. Good, good, man. You heard I was on good. Kill Tony. Yeah, yeah. Uh, say what, bro? Uh, no. Not even a handshake, just yeah. a little fist hey. bump. But hey. hey, how you doing? <laughs> no eye contact. It's like it's like you know I'm a purple belt in comedy, big dog. You know I'm I'm the purple belt around here. I'll man. fuck you all up right now if you don't laugh at me. <laughs> I can't find the clip, Danny. Uh, but there's two Tom Pop episodes. Was it a month ago or eleven months ago? Uh, it was the one that was a month ago. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna search for it real quick. Yeah, yeah. The folks at uh, Urban Jungle were talking about it. They're like, "Hey, did you see uh, Danny was on Kill Tony?" I was like, "What?" 
they were like, he did good, man. Go watch it. And they invited him to the thing. I was like, oh, fuck. That's cool. I couldn't even rewatch it afterwards, though. Because, like, I just always feel real critical about just yeah, anything. Like, even if you, like, rewatch old sets, mm-hmm. you should, like, ah, like, I could have, you know, I missed this part. I <laughs> fucked up this joke or whatever it is. Like, there's always things you could always, like, improve on. So. Well, yeah, plus you're trying to cram everything into a minute. Yeah. yeah you're going to have some flow. That's just, that, yeah. that is a whole other skill because, like, after seeing that, I was like, oh, shit, I probably should have, like, a five-minute set in my pocket, a three-minute set, a go-to, you know what I mean? Just right. just to have. Yeah. Just in case. Just as a good fucking exercise. So, he went to the Austin one. What was mm-hmm. the Hollywood? Was that Comedy Store? Yeah, that was Comedy Store, yeah. I had probably, my experience is probably a little different than, than most people's on there because uh, I, I knew Tony before. I actually featured for him. The first time he ever headlined outside of Cali was in actually in Corpus. They brought him down the headline and uh, I, I featured for him one night and uh, I remember him talking to him about the podcast. Like we went to Whataburger afterwards and he was telling me, yeah, I'm starting this podcast. Like every 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 night, every Monday, you know, they do potluck at the comedy store and there's only 15 spots so there's all these comics that don't got no no nowhere to go like they got to go find another mic so i do this podcast where they get like one minute and if they do good great like we give them some advice or if they do bad we kind of you know make fun of them and make it interesting and 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 it hadn't caught on yet and then i remember like he went off and did his thing and i went off and did mine thing and then years later everyone's like okay i'll kill tony kill tony i was like oh yeah kill tony. i was like wait a minute i've heard that the name of that podcast and and it, now it's this huge thing so when we went out there to do oxnard i still had his number in my phone so I was already planning on doing potluck uh, that that Monday after we did Oxnard. I had had a friend that, that was the host of, of potluck for several years. He was like, I'll, get, I'll make sure you get on the list. So I already knew I was going to do a spot at the store. So it was kind of a Hail Mary. No, no, no. doesn't matter if I, I make it or not. I sent him a text and said, hey, I'm, I'm going to do potluck tomorrow. And uh, I'm, I'm going to I want to watch your show. I'm going to try to watch your show. Um, you know, and, and I knew it was like a, a, a hat pull kind of thing mm-hmm. somehow i don't he never responded to the text message i got my name got picked out of the hat first so i got to do potluck and kill tony oh nice the same night uh i'm not sure if that was to my benefit because i almost i felt like i was gonna gonna pass out during my one minute set because i had been on the sun on sunset strip all day oh just sitting walking up and down i sat at starbucks breathing in all the fumes and stuff and oh, she, like outside on the sidewalk? Yeah, yeah. Like at, right after my set, I I left, and I'm, Jesus, our friend Jesus Trejo was hitting me up. He was like, "Hey man, where'd you go? I was trying to introduce you." To There's the a little, little name drop. And right I was there. like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> you might have seen him on late night. You know, you, you know, might might have seen him. Late you know, night he, he's set. He's like, "Where'd you go? I was gonna introduce you to some folks." I was like, "Man, I'm sick, man. I, I went, I went, I went to go crash at uh, Jerry Garcia." You know Jerry from yeah, yeah, from yeah. HBO, Anthony Knowles, Anthony Knowles, Anthony his supposed yeah. yeah, also Netflix, from from, yeah. from HBO, HBO. You know, and I, I was I was talking to my boy, you know Roberto Rodriguez, you know, on the way over there. He's like, I'll come over here. I'm like, now nah, I'm going to Jerry's, yeah. you know, you know. And then I was like, do I hit up Pauly Shore? <laughs> uh, Felipe Esparza was on my Instagram. He was yeah. like, go go. He told me to go to the Rainbow Room. They'll hook you up with a joint. The the cook there will give you a joint for me. You know, uh, nice. You know, you know, the red carpet, and, ladies you know, and gentlemen. Damn. <laughs> and then he comes to Houston, and all he gets is to be on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no weed, like God, man, no I'm care drop, package. Buddy, I'm dropping all the names this episode. Hey, Javi's like, bro, I see we got the pie tequila Shit. right here. I ain't got offered no shot. I ain't got no bottle. He already got a smear off. Mineral water. Yeah, we got some tehuacan. I got the tehuacan. I found the clip, by the way. You want to pull? You want to? We to watch it? Can we watch it? Are you comfortable, Danny? You comfortable with it? It's a fire minute. So. We know you did good. Uh, I'm going right. to look away, bro. Yo, give him 30 yeah, yeah. seconds. We know you did Coming good. at you. Oh, and a gel blaster. Look at that from the yeah, lovely people over at Gel Blaster. Love Jovan's going to fucking... Got it's it. going to be a school bus shooting happening. How old do you feel, though? <laughs> <laughs> Two days after 9-11, he was born? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, your next comedian goes by the name of Danny Guerrero, everybody. Danny Guerrero. Were you in the bullpen at this point? Yeah. Next. Yeah, I was all the way in the back. Way in the back. On... Kill Tony. Trying Here to he comes. run up there. <laughs> so they don't pull oh, your name oh. live anymore. It's already Ladies done before. Ladies and gentlemen, make no, some noise right for him. It's right. Danny Guerrero, everybody. Right now he's thinking, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Be cool, be cool. Hey, I'm fucking crazy, bro. You get in a fight with me, man. You'll fuck around and leave with 12 hickeys on your neck. <laughs> yeah, you may have whooped my ass, but I just ruined your marriage of 10 years. <laughs> Try explaining that to your girl when you get home. Oh no, babe, I started swinging. This guy just lashed onto my neck. 
<laughs> I'm fucking lonely, guys. Perfect. Just earlier today, bro, I picked up a scam likely call. It's like, hey, man, I'll give you the last four of my soul if you just ask me how my day was. <laughs> Pretend you care a little bit and you can have it all. Been doing a bunch of gay shit, bro. A lot of gay shit. The transitions hit like punchlines. I just started wearing my seatbelt last week. I just want to be held, please. Look at Tony. Look at Tony's face. (laughs) Oh, fucking ass. Tony making money off this shit, dog. Oh, monetize. Boy, monetize, carnal. The double dip, carnal. All right, guys. That's my time. Wow. (laughs) Okay. You notice how... The ad played so, before the end, <laughs> so you stick around. Yeah, yeah. You notice how Tony was just kind of like whatever, doing something, and he just comes out like, didn't wait, just came out fucking swinging like, uh, yeah, that's bah, 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 bah. yeah, like the fucking attitude. He's just like, okay, some something's happening, and it's yeah. like, boom, 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 yeah, yeah. It's like, just hold me, you know, bam, been a bunch of gay shit. Gay shit. He's just like, yeah. at this point, he's <laughs> just like, play. I'm witnessing some shit. He's just like, what the fuck. That's awesome. That's awesome, bro. man. Congrats. That was really good. Hey, that was really good. That was a really good set, Fuck bro. Yeah. Yeah, I, I fucked up and I read the comments afterwards, but oh, don't do that. Oh, don't never. do that. Bro, I've been in this never. shit 20 years. Never do that. Never. No, was, but I do. Yeah. <laughs> you I still. On, I was on Reddit. I'm just. They're, they're ruthless. Reddit? On, Why would you start go to Reddit? Reddit. They're ruthless on Reddit. Nah, because like my homies were like sending me shit. And they were just like, we're making accounts to so, like, you know, get your back. But. Damn. Damn. Yeah. The fucking homies let you know. Hey, bro, they talking shit. <laughs> I got a brand new keyboard. I'm about to dust off. Hey, if you're my homie doing fair, don't tell me. I'm yeah. gonna do, do what you're yeah, going to do, but don't, yeah, don't tell real. me that. Tell Did me you set up a Google alert for your name? Nah, I didn't. Don't no, do that. No. Don't do <laughs> that. After shit. like that second day, I was like, nah, I can't, I can't look that at That shit will fuck up your whole mental health. Mm-hmm. Dog. Yeah, so was, they on there like, because like, it was probably a handful of comedians on this episode, right? Like a bunch of people uh, doing one minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they and people on Reddit just took it upon themselves to be like, all right, that guy in the middle, Danny. Boom. Yeah, no, yeah. that's what's crazy. And a lot of people like admit to not being comedians. They're just like, you know, it's just like people watching a fight and being like, oh, I would have just stood up. You know, I would have just, yeah, I would have yeah. been swinging back. But it's just like, yeah, you're yeah. not doing it though. So wh- what the fuck were they saying? Because it was a great set. Uh, man, just the people uh, have something to say about everything. Hate, yeah, put, yeah, let's put some everybody. some salt in that. Wound. It doesn't matter if it's great or not. Yeah, you know what's yeah, great about it? It's the most played section of that whole video. Really? Oh, yeah. You oh, can that. Look at that. Yeah. So How the, about that? The gra- it's right in the middle. At forty, if you guys want to watch it, it's right around forty-three uh, sure. minutes. Run up the uh, middle plays. The middle yeah, view. it's yeah, literally that. that. It's the biggest spike that says most played on the whole hour and fifty-minute video. Yeah, run nice. that up, guys. Run it up. <laughs> run up that middle section. Uh, yeah, no, one of the comments nice. said, uh, is this guy's hair real? It looks like a piece of carpet. <laughs> but I was like, man, that's just the camera. Work. That's, how you, that's how you know it's good. when they, All they yeah. can do is attack you on, 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 looks. on their looks. Like, like oh, like, Lego head ass. Yeah, looking yeah. at like my, I was going to say Lego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my even my set wasn't uh, on there probably wasn't as strong as, as, as yours was. But even then, the only thing they could say talk about was my weight. Like yeah. that's how I knew. I was like, okay, I did, I did fine. Right. Like, like if all you got, all you got is to talk about is my appearance right now, and you're not making fun of. Because sometimes some people go up there and, and they're, uh, they're, they're obviously got maybe some other mental health issues. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure, bro. Going on, like I said, it's the American Idol of fucking comedy, yeah. man. Like, 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 but bro, they attack your hair. That's like this motherfucker has like healthy, luxurious, thick ass <laughs> hair. hair. It's like that. Richie Valens, yeah. fucking. Hey, you know they, you know, like my dad would have killed for that hair back in the day because <laughs> he was in the the rock in the 1950s, uh-huh. like the fucking do the twist and shit. Yeah, yeah, he would have yeah. jailed the <laughs> shit out of that Fonzie style over here. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever rocked a, pom- a pompadour? A what? Like a pompadour, a like like, like fifty style, like Greek style, like a big with the, poofy with the gel and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, not yeah. by, not on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> just when I leave the barbershop, just too. like let's put some gel in this. I dig it. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know, bro. That's how you know you killed it when they like attacking one of your strengths. Look at this motherfucking hair, yeah. dog. <laughs> he, he reminds me of a uh, of your homeboy, uh, Jacob uh, uh, Jacob Vargas. Jo- jo- Jacob Vargas a little bit of uh, of um, of uh, fr- uh, next Friday. Jo- yeah, fame. Jo- Joker. Friday after the next fame. Yeah. 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 No yeah. Is it start dropping his drop credits? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. We we'll do this all episode. Javi can yeah. do it all episode. He was actually an American me as a as a teenage actor as well. Yeah, he but, was. Uh, you know. Anyway, so what'd you say about my homie? Uh, I said that that, that Danny kind of remind, oh, remind, reminds. Oh, okay. Me of yeah, yeah. Bit. I see it. Yeah. Damn. That American could, me. 
Yeah. Nah, he was a kid in American Me. Uh, Jacob Vargas. Here. Can you want to do a Google search? Yeah, go ahead. What is Jake, Jacob name? Vargas? Just look uh, up Jacob Vargas. Yeah, Jacob Vargas. Yeah, I love that movie, bro. He was in uh, Sons of Anarchy and the Mayans. He oh, was okay. even in the Fluffy sitcom, right? Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay. He yeah, was his not, best friend. Yeah, I definitely seen him. Then. Yeah, yeah. He was a uh, he was a little Aztec warrior. Don't don't the little Aztec. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty spot on. Yeah, <laughs> young Jacob Vargas. Yeah, yeah he he was the little cholo in uh, what was his name on Friday? Joker, 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 Joker right? Yeah, yeah. That's your Theo, man. I, I, <laughs> yeah, up. you can play his son now. Yeah, yeah. bro, that's me in five you years. Be, sleep, <laughs> you that's you when you turn into Danny, right? <laughs> yeah, stop going to jujitsu. That's you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was. He played A B Quintanilla. Yeah, he something. played A B. Oh shit! Like, yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. ever done, have you done any acting? Or are you are I went to some interested classes. in that? I did. I did like some classes, uh, but I don't know. I could I, like I would see myself in the camera. Yeah, and I, it just I would just keep laughing. I don't know. I couldn't. <laughs> I, I could not giggle at myself. Where, yeah. where you take them classes at? Uh, There's this place called Next Actor Studio. Um, it was like somewhere like around I don't even know, like Is around the, the museum district somewhere. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I could definitely see like a, like on, on my block. Type, type oh, the no. remake or whatever. You, know? <laughs> you got to stereotype them like that, Javi? Yeah. On you're, my block, you're, you're limited hey, to the gotta, Everyone's got to start so, somewhere. You yeah. know, Re- you know remake of Blood In, Blood Out. Yeah, I want to be in that. What would that be called? Sangre pa dentro, sangre pa fuera. <laughs> I ran into an Uber driver that that um, <laughs> we kind of got into an argument because he was trying to tell me that, that Blood In, Blood Out was a was a Mexican movie. Like made in Mexico, he, he it, and he, I was like, because he started telling me the storyline, but in Spanish, he goes, "Oh, this is a good movie," and he's telling me all in Spanish, and you know, but I can understand Spanish better <laughs> than like, I can speak blood it. And, blood out. and I was all like, I was like, "Are you talking about blood and blood out?" You see, sangre por sangre. So I, was like, <laughs> I, was all like, I was like, "Yeah, that's an American movie, bro." Like, ah, like, like he goes, "No, no, 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 it's no. overdubbed, bro." Like, yeah, I was like, "No, I'm pretty sure that was made here. They dubbed it in Spanish, bro. Like not the other way around." <laughs> Like we don't we don't really do that. Yeah, <laughs> we don't take other countries and be like, oh yeah. You're like we produce culture, yeah. well, except we'll, for like anime, right? It comes no, back. We'll, I mean we'll steal the shit and remake the remake yeah, the movie, yeah. right? Like like what was that Walking Tall Power, movie? Power Rangers was yeah. an Indian uh, when uh, remember the Rock that, that Walking, Walking Tall? Tall. Yeah, apparently that was or Walk the Line. No, Walking Tall. Yeah, Walking Tall was a, was like a apparently it was like a very famous like Indian film, like Bollywood type. Yeah, shit? yeah Bolly on some Bollywood type shit. When it came out, my roommate was like. This movie came out like ten years ago in India. <laughs> like same story, every, everything. When like, the rock down, was super down, skinny, down to the fucking stick. Like the, the Were he the two, two by four or whatever? Two yeah. By four. Like every, that's a great movie. Oh, honestly, yeah. I enjoyed it. That's a good movie, bro. I still yeah. think about him hitting that car. The, yeah. The tail light Fuck that. yeah. <laughs> Damn. And then John Cena was in the next one. He was driving that Camaro, right? I didn't see the next oh, one. Oh, I actually watched the second one. I, I, I went through the punishment of watching the second I, one. I saw John Cena's first movie, The, the Marine. You ever see that? I did see that. It was like a... It wasn't ram, terrible. Ram, it, it was, yeah. It, it was, was a, a WWE production, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was, it was. They were making movies. I took a bunch of uh, kids on, on juvenile probation to go see it. Because <laughs> I was mentoring a bunch of kids. What's that, the name that, of that, that movie? That time. The, Marine? The, the Marine? The Marine. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was almost like a... like Kind of like a Rambo situation. Kind of like a... What was the Kurt Russell one where his like truckers... like. Kidnap his, oh that his mom, his I wife think. or whatever. So it's kind of like that. It was like, like John Cena and his wife are on a road trip, and yeah. then like they run into this these gang of bad dudes, and they they decide to fucking like kidnap his wife, and now they got this John Cena Marine character that, that's gonna kill them all. You know, Interesting. that's what I'm thinking of actually. Where yeah. he drives a Camaro. I don't think he was walking yeah. tall too. Man, it, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Dude, if if I gotta hit the uh, Austin scene, I'm gonna have to roll with Daniel, man. I'll be like, hey, Danny, man, what's up, dog? We going to Austin, bro? I'm down, bro. You, you got all the you connects. Got, huh? You got Clout Austin, <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you did good. You I'm got, gonna be you using your the, name and yeah. shit. You like, got hey, the man, big. I, is it the big book? Which one's good? Yeah, the, the big, big book? book. Yeah. Okay, the small book's like an an insult. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is that? The big uh, book. What? He gives you like a big joke book. Like that. There's a guy on there, uh, Bones. Eye, he like makes like handcrafted like leather. Uh, drug books, mm-hmm. and there's like a regular size one, and then there's the mini ones, and he like tosses you a mini yeah, one. If you're not, if you're not, good, your joke's saying shit. Here, here's oh, this, this, yeah. this will work for you. This tiny ass joke book, uh, <laughs> is, is, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but but if you actually pull and you know you write some real jokes, here's a big one. That's you, pretty dope. Uh, you, 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 you go to Austin often? Uh, every now and again. I mean, mostly I was just going to try to get on Kill Tony. Um, but I might be going back soon. Just I mean, because the scene out there is just it's cool just to be able to walk from like place to place. And go perform at these like 
you know you have spots like kind of back to back over there so yeah. that's pretty cool i gotta go test my skills in that austin uh scene bro i gotta mm-hmm. kind of sharpen up and make sure i don't make houston look bad and mm-hmm. in front of all these california comedians man like yeah bitch like i want to kill that shit just so they Let respect texas bro just so they're like man these texas motherfuckers coming with it dog 